Welcome to Grandia 2. This is a game that, well, it's a JRPG that was released on Steam yesterday, Monday. And it, for those unaware, this is an older RPG. This was originally on Dreamcast and PlayStation 2, I believe. And it was ported onto PC, but the PC version was horribly, horribly buggy, glitchy, etc. And it wasn't too popular with people. So when the opportunity came around to put Grandia back on PC, they went ahead and ported the Dreamcast version, which brings us here. So a couple things of note before we get started. This is an older RPG. You can see the copyright 2000. It's some, approximately 15 years old. I don't know when exactly it came out. So it's going to be missing a lot of bells and whistles that newer games have, and in some ways it's going to seem a little archaic. Now, on the topic of being archaic, that leads to our second point. So you are not seeing things. There really are black bars on the sides of the screen. The game is stuck in 4 to 3 ratio. It can't be moved to 16 to 9. So as I play this, we're going to be stuck like this. There's nothing I can do about it. The settings don't actually adjust this in any way, shape, or form. And, well, we have to kind of deal with it or don't buy it. As for the game itself, it's normally supposed to retail for $20 for its launch. It was discounted by 25% down to um, $15. If you like what you see, you can go ahead and pick it up on Steam or GOG or whatever. Your digital distribution platform of choice. I chose Steam. It's up to you on what you want. But anyway, we're going to begin. So you get your three options. There's no actual settings here where you can try to customize things a little bit. There are settings once you finally get into control, but in typical JRPG fashion, we're going to be in for a little bit of scenes, so hopefully you guys are comfortable. If not, go get, pause the video, go get something to drink, and come back. Now, I don't know the difference between normal and hard mode, so I'm going to start off in normal, and if it's really a cakewalk, I'll just go back and redo it in hard. Not really a big deal for me as long as I don't wait too long to make the jump. Here we go. That looked so bad. I mean, it was widescreen already. Why couldn't... I don't know. It says that weird black box around it. So, who are those people? Maybe we'll find out soon enough. If you're wondering, our MC is not there yet. And the game is voice acted, both with an English and Japanese dub. We'll see how the English one is, and if it's really that bad, I'll just move over to the Japanese one. But I'll at least give the English dub a chance.
let me down, Sky. And there's Ryudo. first fight. Hey, his friends are back. Fancy that. Sky, over here! Well, so are mine. Cannot take much more of this. Quit your belly aching and fly, damn it! Ah! Curse you, physics! Damn you, Isaac Newton! I finished the job, didn't I? Yes, in your own crude fashion. Here, take your money. Father, don't be rude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't bother, I'm used to it. I won't have you speaking to his kind. Come, we're leaving. I cannot stand him. What a pompous fool. He seemed friendly. Work, not a barrel of laughs. Well, well. You're growing up, Ryudo. Ugh. If it weren't for work, I'd have nothing to do with that guy. But business is business. She was a fine-looking girl, though. I don't care for her or the kindness of strangers. Still have a little ways to go before you can finally take control. What is it, Sky? Ryudo. Looks like we have another job. Hey, we're popular. Just bump the mic, damn it. Hey, not already. I'm still sore from that fall. No thanks to you. Ouch! Okay, okay! Sky, all right already! It's good to have work, right? <sighs> it says the Church of Granis wants to hire you as a bodyguard. So, working for Granis, huh? Now I really don't want to do it. A job's a job, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's what it means to be a geo-hound. And at long last, I'm now in control. So a couple things to go over. You can push the X button on your Xbox 360 controller, I don't know what you're using exactly, but that unlocks an achievement just for pushing the button. I don't know exactly what the significance of that is, but it's... Hey, free achievement for you guys. Anyway, here's our menu where we get to do our different things. You can go to the configuration here, you can see how limited things are. You're using the B button to dash, the left trigger makes the screen rotate, or how you leave the game. Seriously, that's it for your options. So we can't go back. The only way for us is forward. Now you can rotate the camera left and right in by using the tri uh, not the triggers, the bumpers. And well, you can't actually like raise or lower the camera. You're stuck with this angle. Like I said, this is an older game, and it definitely shows its age.
Okay, I don't get the significance of walking there, but apparently you have to. So we're going to create our first save here. There's a hundred save files, by the way, in case you're curious. No, huh? Okay, there we go. And we have loot. Blizzard charm. Now, I don't know what this actually does. Um... Oh, there we go. Level 5 blizzard resistance. Normally for something like this, I imagine there's a reason they're giving it to you. And here's our ladder. Okay, let's try combo. Wow, that hurt you, bastard. And I can't rotate the camera, sadly. Okay, how tenacious is this thing? You better practice if you want to beat me. Hopefully that's a healing item. Yes. Medicinal herb. Medicinal wink wink. And I'll explain the various drops later. Hand grenade. That sounds effective. I'm not going to bother with any fights for the moment. What have we here? They look familiar, don't they? Ah, damn it, it's not voice acted here. Bye, Elena. See you later. I am sorry. Tessa, I would join you if I could. I wonder why I'm not permitted to leave with you. I guess your role is more important than ours. Don't worry, we'll do all the preparations for the ceremony. Tessa, we have to get going. Right. See you later, El Elena. Not entirely sure how her name is supposed to be pronounced because there's a couple different ways to pronounce it. Elena, Elena, stuff like that. Let's go. Elena, it's time for the service. You ought to return now. Yes, you're right. Don't worry, we've hired a bodyguard. You'll catch up with us safely. Please take care of yourselves. And Tessa, I will see you later. Now, Elena, let's go back. Thank you for all your hard work. Probably none of our concern. We can only hope. We can only hope. Are they collecting tithes? There's enough... What do they do? Storm through your door and beat charity out of you? I understand they're off to a tower outside the village to drive away evil spirits. We're very fortunate to have the sisters. Evil spirits? Yes, things are fine around here during the day. When the sun goes down, all kinds of terrible monsters are about. Including all the freaks and weirdos inside of the town. What about the girl who stayed behind? She's one of the freaks and weirdos. Oh, Miss Elena? She's a songstress of Granus. She sings such pretty songs for us. Maybe she'll join after the service. Hmm. You don't look like you're from around here. Word of advice, don't venture about at night. Huh? They need a bodyguard. What's this about driving out evil spirits? The sisters will exercise the devil at the tower outside the village. How fortunate to have sisters like them. This isn't part of the deal. Whatever. Let's see what they have to say at the church. There seems to be no other way. Excuse me, where do we find the church? 
That's easy, just go straight. You can't miss it. It's a large building at the end of the road. Okay, we'll be going there last. In the meantime, we need to make sure we pick and loot the whole damn place. So, I don't know if there's any sort of indicator for items in this game, like there is in Celestian Tales and a couple other games of that sort. I will admit that the newer games probably are spoiling me somewhat. What the hell is this? Is there something you want to know about combat? Don't worry about that later. Phew, I can't afford this stuff. I'm poor, dammit. Okay, they're offensive items. I may regret not buying those. Wait a second, I need to go back in there for a second. Oh. Okay, so you can just knock this over then. Now, what else have we here? Hey, are you a Geohound? What if I am? Aren't you hounds known for being savage? You don't bathe and you drink the blood of the monsters you slaughter, right? Close. We bathe in the blood of our kill. Well, uh, thanks for clearing that up. Elena, help me. Leo's trying to beat me up again. Elena! Get your eyes checked, kid. I'm not Elena. Huh? You're not? Well, then go find Elena for me. There are other sisters of Granus. Why do you want the songstress? seen you before. You want to talk to old Granny? The only thing I'm good now is telling t tales and folk's fortunes. Do you want to hear anything? Tell me my fortune. Why, well, it can't be, but it is. Your palm speaks of woman trouble, yet it also speaks of a great love. Never before have I seen such a palm. Woman trouble and a great love? For a Yudo? Check again, old woman. Sky, are you taking this seriously? Listen, Granny. Woman trouble? Love? Not me? Not ever. the environment to a certain degree, at least by knocking crap over. You must be the Geohound. It's so good of you to come here to help us. Whoa now, Gramps. You feeling well? For future reference, no one thinks a, no one thanks a Geohound. Everyone hates us, remember? Oh no, no. I'm grateful for the dangerous job you're doing. Slaying monsters. That's something I could never do. Well, well. I have been despised before, but never thanked. Yep, old dude's senile. Grandmother read the read the signs, and she said something about the powers of darkness. Something bad is supposed to happen. I understand, but I'm sure we'll be alright if we have each other. That's it, as long as my beloved husband is with me. Well, love's not exactly my field. Geodons are rarely given the opportunity to gain any experience, you know. Well, well, what do we have here? We don't see the likes of your kind around here very often, Geohound. Do you know someone here? No, I've been asked here. You know anything about the Church of Grass? Yeah, I do. They're nice people. They help out a lot. Something a cretin like you can never understand. Is that supposed to be cretin? I'm not sure about that word. The crops are scarce lately. Nowadays, I have to climb over a couple of hills to look for them. Ain't never been like this before. You're not the only person saying that, old man. I hear it everywhere. But, uh, aren't you a bit too old to be working so hard? It ain't the working. Folks should help each other in times like these. Not helping would weigh heavier on me, Sonny. Yeah, right. The other day, Elena taught me a new song. It's called A Song of Light, or A Hymn to Granis, praise be the name. Do you want to hear it? A Hymn to Granis, huh? I don't think so. I'm not too big on hymns. Damn it, go in the house. Hey, check out this awful book. The Secret to a Long and Passionate Marriage. Every relationship needs stimulation. A dull life will make your relationship dull, too. Once in a while, a couple requires the fiery spice of love. Oh, for heaven's sake, who writes this trash? Damn it. Is this on the desk, or...? Okay, if you just push the A button here, it homes in on the book. Our harvest of fruits and vegetables haven't been too good lately. I wonder if it's the same elsewhere. 
During my travels, I have noticed others complain of bad harvests as well. I figured that we weren't the only village having such a hard time. Yeah, I just push your co rack over. And your stool. What are you gonna do? She'll just have to sell for the co-rack. Are you a traveler? We have some delicious jams. Would you like to try some? Jam? Uh, no. I'll pass. I can't stand sweet food. That is rather odd. It does not appear that they can harvest enough fruit to make this jam. Oh yes, Father Carius taught us how to plant and tend orchards. That's why we have enough fruit. Okay, I'm starting to suspect this is like Legend of Heroes, where most of the houses are empty. Back here. And actually, now that I think about it, I can't recall a single house in Legend Heroes that actually has some loot. Well, 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 what have we here? Come to ask Lord Granus for help? Everyone needs help these days. Hardly. Apparently, your Granus has a keen sense of irony. The church wants my help. Where is the church? Right over there. The church hiring a Geohound? That's a new one. Sisters are going to Black Forest, something about piety, so many monsters, worried. There's no mass today, no songs, just his voice, mass, don't know what it's about, we're here for work. Mass in the evening. Wait a second. Have I been in this house? Monsters from the Black Forest have begun to come out around the village. I fear that someday my wife or children may, might be attacked. The world's become a dangerous place. Logic dictates that dense forests are to be nesting grounds for monsters. Don't let what the women and kids near. Eh, don't worry, they have it coming. Yeah, yeah. He did say something different, but to be honest, I didn't care. Are the sisters going to be alright? I went up to that weird tower for an exorcism. An exorcism? Those church girls are off to an exorcism? For some sort of supreme deity, Granis sure knows how to dodge responsibility, since all his lackeys do his work. What a thing to say! Dear little Tessa and the others in the church work so hard so that you can live happily. Ha. Take that. Okay, I'm starting to get a tad disoriented. I think that's it, so let's head on over to the church. Rita, look at how beautiful these flowers are. Can you notice just how well cared for they are? I really don't give a damn about their beauty. If it's not food or money, I don't care much about it. Anything behind the church? Okay, that seems like a good spot to hide something, but instead they just give us a barrel. Let's go in. A song. Maybe it's that songstress. Shh. Strange. It's calming. Sounds like it's coming from inside. Let's take a look. What's the matter? Is that all? Who said that? Don't mind me. Continue. Were you listening to my singing? Come on, if you're that tense, you won't be able to perform at all. Who are you? I haven't seen you around. What are you doing here? Whoa, now. What am I doing here? You're the one who hired me. I... Hired you? I, I do not remember anything of the sort. You look awfully suspicious. Leave right now, or I'll scream. <laughs> Are you for real? 
Oh, wait a sec. I bet no one told you. Elena, is something the matter? Ah, you must be the Geohound, yes? We've been waiting for you. A G Geohound? Hey, I'm Ryudo. This here's Sky. Quite a warm welcome for someone you're hiring. What? Why are you being so rude? Elena, please excuse her. Allow me to apologize on her behalf. Elena, you must get ready to leave. Uh, yes, Father. I'm very sorry for interfering. Please excuse me. Excuses in women are equally tiring. <clears throat> uh, this is not the place. May I ask you to wait at the inn? I shall be along shortly. Nothing to loot here, is there? Just two shabby candlesticks? There's not one thing of value here. Are you sure they can pay my wages? Yeah, I have the exact same concerns, dude. Ryudo, hold your tongue. Put their details. Do it quickly. Don't want to be kept waiting. Wait at the inn. I haven't agreed to anything yet. Take time to consider. Shut it. I'll listen. Good. Yeah, we're not getting the good clients, are we? Anyone else have a feeling this is going to look like a simple job that turns out to be a massive headache? That's the store. Here's the end. Priest told me to wait here. Oh yes, he'll be along shortly. Why don't you take a seat over there? Tell him to make it quick. Quick, run Ryudo while you have the chance. Too late. I believe there's a Geohound waiting for me. A Geohound? There's a man over there. A Geohound, Father? What need have we with his kind? He has come. Peace, my son. It is not appointed to us to judge our fellow man. Granus alone reserves that power. I apologize for our rudeness earlier. You must be Ryudo the Geohound, correct? I am sorry to have kept you waiting. So, what business does a noble priest of the Church of Granus have with a lowly Geohound like me? I believe that was stated in my letter. You can't... did read the letter, did you not? Come now, Father. For a priest, your lack of faith is most disturbing. Easy now. Enough, Sky. So, Father, you need a bodyguard. Talk. There is a tower outside of town. Garmia Tower. We will hold a ceremony there tonight, under the light of the full moon. I want you to take one of our sisters there. And once the ceremony is over, I want you to bring her back here. I don't buy it. The church has never sought help from outside before. And this is a job for a choir boy, not a murderous geobound. Not all are against you, lad. You need not always walk in anger and pain. All troubles can be resolved with prayer and... And... Come on, game. There it goes. Then I suggest you start praying your sister over to your tower. I am sorry, I did not mean to offend, please. Fine, fine. I'll do the job, but save your sermons. Gold has a finer voice. The sister whom you'll be protecting is waiting in the church. Please, ready yourself and come along. Don't worry about the girl. I've never botched a job, and I don't plan to start. So, did he actually give us any money, or...? We're still sitting on 300 gold. Um... It's the 
this way. Ah, there she is. So, Father, you want me to escort her fussiness here? Fine, then come along, Princess. Father, am I the only one with a Geohound? Yes, your rule is very important. Why can I not just go alone? Please, Father. Hey, hey, what are you trying to do? He already paid me in advance. That's the best kind of customer. I do not want to go along with that bore. Hey, now, who are you calling a bore? Elena, your role is very important. Or something had happened to you, we couldn't hold the ceremony, thus the bodyguard. It's not fair that I'm the only one who has to go with a Geohound. I don't care one way or the other. Look, are you coming or not? Elena, please do not forget your role. We are depending on you. I beg you. Yes, Father, you are right. I ought not to make Tessa and the others wait. I shall perform my part. Well then, Mr. Yudo, please take Elena to Garmia Tower. Fine, let's go, Princess. My name is Elena. Princess Elena, move it. And we have just unlocked the achievement, the Bodyguard. Okay, so off camera I would just looked around, did a second sweep to make sure I'm not missing anything. And then I just did, um, I just went to the shop and bought a couple healing items since. Even though we have Elena with us, our party is still just... Yudo. So into the Black Forest, part one, we go. Show you, we just have the one guy. What have we here? Medicinal herb, wink wink. Hey. What? What is it? This is your first time walking in the woods? No, not at all. It's just that at night... Keep your head down and watch your step. Hey, look over there. Nice reflexes, Princess. Unfortunately, we're not out here to pick berries or nurse hurt shrews. Next time, you might want to duck and cover. Most bad guys won't stop killing you if you're trying to kiss their ouchies. Hey, you frozen over there or something? Mr. Ryudo, there's something ahead. Yeah, back off. Yep, they don't look happy. Ow. Okay, they're out to get me. Let's finish this one off. Okay, do I automatically get that, or do I have to pick that up, I wonder? So if you're wondering what's going on at the bottom of the screen, that's kind of like the turn gauge. At the COM point, that's where you input your command. As for the ACT point, that's where the command will actually take place at. And the reason... Ooh, we got a counter. You better practice if you want to beat me. You can interrupt spells, various combos, and other things. Timing is actually kind of important, and I don't really have a grasp of how to control it just yet. Anyway... You okay, Princess? Yes, Mr. Ryudo. How are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. As long as I'm getting paid, but... One thing. Yes? Drop the Mr. Stuff. I'm not your teacher, your babysitter, or your damn butcher. Just for you, though. Alright. At this rate, we will make it till dawn. Step on it. Okay, here we go into part two. And before we move forward, I want to look at my inventory. I hadn't noticed if I actually got that herb. Hey, more birds. Yep, they're out to get me. Okay. 
so everything you can do to an enemy can be done to you, so just try to keep that in mind. And you can see that once you reach the command section, okay, um, the action will come up much more quickly than it does leading up to the actual command. That time he countered me, it looked like. We'll show that bird to the boss. So, anything on the sides? We have a fork in the road. Hello? Okay, we had some gold right there. Anything exciting here? Myriad power nut. And right here the two paths reconverge. Okay, looks like I'm bypassed the village or the forest entirely. What have we here? Music isn't ominous or anything, is it? It's perfectly warm, welcoming, inviting. Not a single thing can go wrong while we're here. All sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, there's nothing to be found. I wonder if there's just not that much loot in the game then. So, I take it you're the ones we've been waiting for the prin who've been waiting for the princess here. We are. You must be the Geohound. I thank you. So that's a Geohound. He gives me the creeps. The rumors speak truly. Yuck, he's looking this way. Silence. Come on, get to it. My sisters. I am ready. I have Mr. Ryudo to thank for bringing me here safely. Not even ding or a scratch on her. Now, I don't suppose you'll tell me what this is all about. Please, wait outside until we have finished the ceremony. When it is concluded, you will escort Elena back to the church. How long are you ladies going to take? It will take some time. This is all I may say. One more thing. Do not enter the tower under any circumstances. The ceremony must not be disturbed by your kind... Er, you. My kind. Right. I'll just sit over here and think filthy, unclean thoughts, then. Please, do not come inside. Oh yeah, they'll be fine. Elena, did he do anything to you? Tessa! Ryudo kept his hands to himself. Though he did see fit to share his foul mouth. Come, we must begin the ceremony. And that's a wrap, folks. Interesting game. Some you want to pick up yourself? Or wait, you think there's more to it? Man, how long is this going to take? We've been waiting for, like, hours. Oh, stop your whining. This is part of the job. Man, what are they doing in there? This is why I hate church. Everything takes forever. What's eating you, Ryudo? Thinking about that singing schoolgirl? I just got a bad feeling about this. And this tower, too. Don't you think it looks like a strange place for a holy ceremony? I don't know, it looks like the perfect place for a human sacrifice. Maybe that's just me. Check out the mural. What's the deal with these weird wings? It's an ancient rune. I take it it dates from the silver... What? Silvery White Light Age? What, what kind of period name is that? Okay, yeah, I'm not misreading this. It's seriously called that. Okay. You mean the Battle of Good and Evil? Seriously? Why would they do their exorcisms or whatever in a place like this? 
Oh, don't worry, they're fine. Pay no mind. Hey, where are you going? The spores are back there, man. And... No. Something's funny going on. Let's check it out. But didn't they say not to go in? Look, if anything happens to that Elena chick, it's my rep on the line. I'm not gonna blow this job. True enough. And this is out of the ordinary. Quit stalling, let's go. Was it necessary to fly a circle around him? Here we go. Huh? Great. Just great. Where did all these damn monsters come from? Careful, Rito. So let's drop a quick save. We're going to create a new save file. One thing I definitely have to say I don't like is that there is that brief pause before you actually can save. Crap, crap, we're surrounded. Sell. Okay, this is a tad ridiculous. How many friggin' bugs are in this place? Wind charm. Is there something in here with me? Crap. Okay, we're back to the front. Let's go over here. Hand grenade. Sadly, the damage is starting to add up. Okay, we made it to the second floor. Uh, okay, we have some money over there. It looks like we're getting a reprieve from the enemies. down to the second floor try to get that thing to reset position. Sadly, I'm beginning to suspect I might not be able to get through here without forcing an encounter. Save real quick, too. Okay, I've been spending the past half, half hour or so trying to farm a rare drop here. But to explain what's going on, there are five gargoyles in this entire tower for you to fight. There are three on this floor, two on the floor above me. And if you're wondering, these guys drop a weapon for you. 
it seems to be a fairly rare drop. Even if I try to manipulate the drop system, it's still really hard to get. That's one gargoyle down, four left. Right here is number two. Number two down, still no sword. For the third one, that's the one that we passed on the way here. I tried to attack them from behind so that I have the initiative and the fights. So none of the three dropped it. They did drop a common item though, so I'm not completely empty handed, it's just I'm fed up with trying to get this. Just know that it exists, otherwise I don't care anymore. I just want to move forward with the storyline. The final two are the boss fight here. You have to fight the two of them at the exact same time. It may sound bad at first, but they're not too bad, and I'm not going to cut out this fight so you can see what they're like firsthand. So first you're going to check them to see if any of them have bells, none of them do, so there's no modifier working in our favor here to increase the drop rate. Instead, I'm just going to go for a 10 Seiken on this guy. And now I kind of wish I went for the other one. If you can get a counter attack with your 10 Seiken, it's almost always an execute here. In the event it isn't, then they will be left with like 10 hit points. So right here he's in the middle of an attack, there's a chance I could interrupt, I could counter him here, but there's also a chance he could get me, so let's see. Nothing. So I stab him in the back. He dropped Holy Ashes, and I'm not going to be able to stop this, so I'm just going to hit him. Actually, let's defend. That's going to cut the damage of this move from around 90 to around 30. Does this remind anyone else of Hellzone Grenade from DBZ? Just asking. So he doesn't have a particular move in mind, he's just standing by. I should be able to catch up with him here, and as long as I get in front... He's just going for an attack, so I'm going to swing as well. And no counter for me. Damn. He missed because I moved. And I'm just going to finish him with 10 Seiken here. Cross your fingers, we might get the sword here if we're really lucky. Otherwise, just screw it, I'm moving on. Holy Ashes. So I got two of those, and then one of these from an earlier fight. By leveling up here, you unlock the pump-up achievement. What happened? Did somebody set up us the bomb? The ceremony failed. Save Elena. Hang on, we'll get you out of here. Damn it, she's dead. Ryudo, no time for sentiment. Search for the others. Yeah, we're in waist deep here. So... What the... Oh, there's a door. I was about to say, where the hell do I go? Smash it down. This stupid door doesn't budge. I'll look for another way in. Damn it. Rito, this window. Let's jump. Ah, that's no fun. Holy. What is that? Darkness? I, I know that darkness. There is no darkness inside me. You cannot. I forbid you. Ryudo, you there? Snap out of it. Damn it. I'm gonna save her. Yeah.
for you, though. You got trouble. Let's ride. Didn't he complain about that last time? A zip line? How convenient. Anyway, she looks alright. We got Guard for Hire now, the achievement. Let's head back to town as soon as possible. Say, are you feeling okay? You're acting a little strange back there in the tower. Yeah, just some bad memories. Oh. Hey, she's waking up. Hey, wake up. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Hey, it's alright now. Hey. Where am I? In the woods, near that tower. Huh? Why am I in such a place? Look over there. Oh yeah, that looks bad. Someone messed up. And I'm gonna play it safe and blame society. That is the power of darkness. Where is everyone? Where's Tessa? You were the only survivor. Sorry. Come on, we've gotta get moving. No. I'm... Is, is everyone... everyone... I'm going back. They must have... Hey. Hey. Princess, the power of darkness isn't coming this way to tell us about the neighborhood bake sale. We need to leave. Are they really gone? Yeah. They're dead. You nearly didn't make it yourself. You weren't looking so hot. Never mind those wings you sprouted. We lost to the power of darkness. To the power of Volmar. Are you still with us, Songstress? Hey, time to snap out of it. The dead won't be joining us anytime soon. The ceremony has failed. All have perished. Why should I alone have lived? Why should I alone keep living? Because I've got a job to do. Now get up and get your butt in gear. You, you monster! You cold, unfeeling brute! Geohound. Cold, unfeeling Geohound. Escaped. I don't think they'll follow us this far. Well, you calm down a bit? Anyway, I'll bring you back to the priest. That's what I was hired for, after all. Ryudo, how can you kill so indiscriminately? Well, it's out of the blue. I'm sorry. You were doing it to protect me. Don't worry. Part of the job. And where's the end? Because I want to put a break here. This is good enough for the first episode. Good enough to hopefully hook you guys and make you want to see more. So I'm going to drop a save here in the third spot. And we'll be picking up here next time. So until then, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.